I'm Saturday Hello for you guys today and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a skincare item that I had purchased a few weeks ago and I totally spaced out putting it in a video <laughs> and I had mentioned that I was probably gonna buy it and I, I did it's the royal oil from the brand Lord Jones and it's a hundred milligram CBD facial oil and it comes in a one ounce bottle this is the highest concentration of CBD that I found in a face serum on the back of the bottle it says it contains a thousand milligrams of CBD per bottle approximately 40 milligrams CBD per full dropper approximately 20 milligrams per half dropper. That would be the math, yep. <laughs> Non-psychoactive contains no THC. So I've been using this for the past couple weeks. I'm actually down to like right there on the bottle. I use it every night about between four to six drops in a blob of the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm, which is my favorite nighttime moisturizer. One of the biggest things that I like about this oil is all that's in there is the CBD and grapeseed oil. And grapeseed has got a ton, grapeseed oil has a ton of antioxidants and omega fatty acids, I believe. Some of the other CBDs that I've tried, they have been mixed with uh, coconut oil and coconut oil just doesn't my skin does not like coconut oil. I tend to typically break out from it. So I was super happy to find this, this type of oil in a high concentration of CBD in addition to the only other ingredient being the grapeseed oil, which um, my skin handles really well. Um, so I've been using this every night and I've really been enjoying it. Like I said, I'm down to about right there. That is the Royal Oil 1000 milligrams CBD from the brand Lord Jones. Um, again, I got mine on Sephora, but Beautylish also carries this oil. Then recently, Mac.com was having a 25% off sale, so I picked up a few items from there. They had this in the um, goodbyes section. It's the Powder Blush Duo in Melba and Love Cloud, and I can't remember the name of the collection, but I thought the packaging was really pretty. And I remember looking at it when the collection launched, and I never ended up getting it, but I, I was thinking about it. <laughs> and so I was happy to see it uh, in the sale there. So you have got Love Cloud, which is a sh uh, like a sh slightly shimmery pink, and then Melba, which is a satin, I believe. Um, so it's a duo. The way I've been using it, I've just been mixing the two shades together, and it's a really nice blush shade on my skin tone. And that's uh, again from MAC, and it's the Melba Love Cloud Powder Blush Duo. Also from MAC, I got a backup of the Shape and Shade Brow Tints, and I use Taupe and Fling. I use the lighter one towards the front, and then the darker one towards the back of my brow. These have just been my favorite brow products lately. I can just easily fill in my brows, and it's, it's super quick, and I think it looks really natural as well. Um, let me go ahead and swatch the two that I'm using right now. So this one here is Taupe, which is the darker one. And I just kind of go like this through my brows to get them tinted. So that one is taupe. And then the other one is fling, which is the lighter of the two. And I like to use these two together. It's a little bit warmer in undertone. These also have a powder in the end that I really don't use. I kind of buy them just for um, the marker half. And I saw that... Um, Glossier has one of these as well that I'm really tempted to order and try their version, but I love these brow products So I went ahead and got backups during the Mac sale. I also got this single eyeshadow It's one of the extra dimension foil shadows and this is Kappa Pose I really wish that I would have bought the other shade as well I think this was in the goodbyes too, but this color is so stunning. So it comes in this type of packaging it's my favorite baked de jelly formula. <laughs> I've worn this a couple times so far, but it's so pretty. Just a gorgeous copper shade. I really wish I would have bought the other one as well. I think there were two shades available um, for this, but isn't that stunning? It's called Kappa Pose Extra Dimension Foil Eyeshadow, and there are really fine micro glitters in there, but I just think that is so gorgeous. I also got a lipstick and I got the shade Nippon, N-I-P-P-O-N, and it's in the Cream Sheen formula, which is my favorite formulation, one of my favorite formulations from MAC. Uh, I thought I'd just give this color a try. It looked like a pretty one for summertime. It's a kind of a coral pink, mid-tone corally pink shade. I've worn it a couple times so far, and it's just a it's just a good, easy throw-on summer shade. So that is the color Nippon, and it's a cream sheen right there from MAC. I also picked up another item from the summer collection and this is the next to nothing bronzing powder and it's in sun soaked strip and I just can't get enough of the summer collection packaging I think it's stunning so I've been wearing this a ton as well this is a gorgeous bronzer it's like a matte but it's not like overly matte I'd say there's like a slight sheen to it 
but um, originally it looks kind of matte in the pan. It has a slightly warm undertone, but it still looks super summery, super pretty on the skin. Very easy to blend out. It's a softer powder, so it's not creating hard pan like some of the products that I found from MAC, um, they, they're pressed too hard and it's hard to get it to pick up. This is really soft, super easy to pick up product. Um, very happy with the formulation on this guy. And it's just a really good bronze bronzer. So that is the shade uh, Sun Soaked Strip right there. So you can see there's a bit of a sheen to it, but there's no visible like glitters or anything like that in there that I can see. Then I also purchased the new Charlotte Tilbury Dreamgasm Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I originally was not going to get this and then the collector in me. <laughs> I have got all of her eyeshadow palettes so I was like I need to get that one as well. Michelle Wong did a video on this and she had pointed out that three of the shades in here are repeat shades and I know for sure that this shade right here is from Dolce Vita. I'll compare the two palettes side by side. I definitely didn't need this but I needed it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so this is Dreamgasm eyeshadow palette and the only place that I've seen it so far is on Charlotte Tilbury's website so you've got some shimmers, shimmer satins in there and then and this is one of those pressed glitters that she always goes in with a finger and pats over the top. Um, I like Charlotte Tilbury's formula. If you're used to super vivid, intense all, like eyeshadows all the time, sometimes these ones come off a bit softer than those. Um, but I still think that the looks that come out of her eyeshadow palettes are very pretty, very sophisticated looks. So I do like her, her eyeshadow palettes for that reason. And they're really easy as well. They're just super easy shadows to wear. So this is the one in Dreamgasm right there. And I'm just holding it up right here next to the Dolce Vita, which is right here. The Dolce Vita, that bronze copper shade, is a little bit more brown in the Dolce Vita. And it's a little more red in Dreamgasm. And then I also purchased the Alyssa Edwards Anastasia Beverly Hills Collaboration Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I, this one really didn't kind of speak to me, but I was like, oh, but do you need it? And then I had a bunch of points to use at Ulta, and I used it with my points, so I kind of didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> I love the Ulta Rewards uh, program. is awesome. So anyway, um, I don't know a lot about Alyssa Edwards other than I believe that she is a drag queen. And this palette here is very vivid and bright. It's got that same exact brush in there as all of her palettes, kind of that little flat shader and a buffer on the other end I always feel like that buffer is just much too scratchy to put into her formulation of shadows which is typically very very soft um, I've used this palette a few times uh, I kind of had to wiggle my brush into those uh, shimmer shades to get it to pick up but they went on very pretty and the mattes I had to work with a little bit as well they're a little bit drier type of a matte um, when I put them on I have to kind of really blend them more so the vivid shades instead of these browns um, it's okay I'm not I'm not crazy about it but let me go ahead and give you guys some swatches of it uh, I was mixing the white in with a bit of this guy to kind of come up with a matte under brow bone shade there are a ton of mattes in here there's only three shimmers which are inspire DDG and beyond the rest of the shades are all matte so let's give you guys some swatches here. So there are the first four. And these next three. And these are very vivid shades, but the uh, they have a little bit of a dry texture to them. And then these next ones, you can kind of see that purple shade there has got a slight bit of hard pan on there. I had to really kind of squish my brush in there when I had used it to get it to pick up. It's a pretty vivid purple though. And then these last three shades. Surprisingly, this matte purple is really soft compared to these ones, and I always find that it's usually the opposite. The purple can be matte purples can be really like dry feeling. That one feels more smooth. Whoop. 
So there are the swatches of the ABH and Alyssa Edwards eyeshadow palette. I don't think it's a terrible palette, but I do think it's something that you kind of have to work with, especially with the color combination that came out of here. Um, the very first time that I had used this, I had actually used like these browns, uh, kind of this section, and I think I used that one on the lid. And it, it actually turned out really, really neutral looking, so it's not like every time you use this it has to be super vivid or anything i was really surprised I was like this actually looks like i used it out of a neutral eyeshadow palette so and that is all for my haul today i have not been shopping that much <laughs> i have a question for you guys what are your thoughts on me talking about jeffree star products i'd love your opinion give me your opinion <laughs> But that is everything for the haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.